What's up, guys? Welcome to Slop Slocks Thunderdome Edition, the greatest sports betting show in the history of sports betting shows. Everybody knows that. If you've never seen this show before, do yourself a favor right now. Subscribe to this channel. Get the notifications on. That way you'll never miss another one of these for the rest of your life. While you're doing all that, I'm going to introduce today's panel. The first one needs no introduction. He almost broke the entire Thunderdome last week, but he came up one pick short. At Dead Prez Picks on Twitter, the great Matt McEwen. What's up, dude? What's up, fellas? Yeah, almost got the sweep. Shout out to El Tulde. Uh, first pitch mm -hmm. homer, too, guys. So he did yep, not make us nice. wait around. That was really nice. Uh, I think our other pick was – what was the other pick? Now I can't even think of it, but it won. It was something else. Yeah, it was something that won. And then the last pick was uh, Logan Webb, who who unfortunately ended up you know, blowing it. You got it right. It's just he didn't get the win. Yeah, it, yeah, it wasn't his fault. It, it wasn't his fault. It was the bullpen's fault. So he almost won, but we, we were doing the math on it. We made a lot of units, uh, a lot of units. Know, next week. And after we, doing the math, we made a lot right. of units. Yeah. We, yeah, after we did the math. And we also <laughs> realized that we almost got rich, which is – something to build on you know mm -hmm. we're, we're moving in the right direction um That's and then today's episode like we said we did a little bit later well, we're recording it later so we could do a little more research because we felt like that 15 extra minutes might get us get us rich ultimately today yes yeah. correct yeah being almost rich is almost as good as being rich to be honest Pretty with you much. you're hungry and you know what you're hungry for it's always a good thing the other guest the other voice you heard you saw him last week again he was part of the crew that almost got everybody rich the great Tommy G at Tommy G wins again on Twitter. Oh, wow. we're, we're going today. Mm -hmm. We're going today. Mm -hmm. I was working on that. I, I worked out. That's where the extra 15 minutes went today. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So clearly that worked. Tommy, what's up, man? Uh, Red and Rock, man. We dude, we were we were really close. We had the uh you hit the plus 500 on Altuve, Maddie. I hit the plus like 440 on Pascantino. 680, what, 680. <laughs> plus 440 on Pascantino. We hit the Astros. Slop hit a couple. We were right there. Scherzer fucked me. First five. Uh, actually picked yeah. pretty well, but gave up. That was what it done. was. Yeah. That, that, that was, was, yeah. That's that was when I knew the dream was over. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was the first one that. to lose. And trust me, as much as I want everyone to win, when you're the first guy to lose in the Thunderdome, and a couple other guys hit some shit, you're just praying someone else loses something. Yeah, you feel like such a I, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, will really not, do. I do not want to be the yeah. only one to lose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You you know, you know, you're do. just like praying for someone to lose, even though you don't yeah. want them to lose. Even though you want them to win, right? And yeah. I, you have yeah, them back, someone else. too. Yeah. yeah. We, we so, all ready to rock. Ready to rock. I, Love, I'm hoping, Love What I'm hoping happens is that kind of put the bed all the comments. I don't know if you guys read the comments on the YouTube channel, but man, these guys Actually, go Actually, you know in. what? I'm going to read them today. So write some okay. shit about me. They got Lucy Sims all over the place. Even though Lucy has a podcast now, she can't even do the Thunderdome, but because we record at the same time. She's going to come back next week, though, Sims. So oh, yeah. hold off. Just relax. She is back next week. I talked to her. We're good. But um, Tommy, they're all in the comments. I think they said you suck. And I also think they said Matt sucks. Okay. We do I'm pretty suck. sure they we said I suck, suck too. Yeah. But yeah. I like to bring up the we fact suck that well. you guys suck. Mm. They, yeah. What they want is they want Lucy to come back, I think. Okay. And I think they want um, Eli because one okay. time we hit something. Yeah. It was all of that. I, I mean, that's perfect because me and, me and Matt are planning. You ever see watch Curb Your Enthusiasm? Yeah. All right, so we have a spite show that we're doing at 11 a.m. on your channel at the same exact time next week. So maybe yeah, that's nice. be even better. I like it. I like it. Spite show. Smart. Spite show. Yeah. yeah. No, I laugh because I'm like, guys, what are you doing? We got the the best in the business here. Like we're we're about to almost get you guys rich, and here you are calling for other people. That just well, means we got to do it today. We got to well, do it. And also, exactly. and also, do they know I I have the most Thunderdomes ever, John? Like the, the I no. have the belt of the Dude, Thunderdome. Matt, these people just type stuff. Yeah, I mean, I don't even do. Oh, do we even keep it tracked anymore? Because I have wins that aren't tracked. I, I'm, I I'm on percentage. Has we have all someone. The stats. Yeah, that's, that's someone's responsibility. All right, I want stats. I want to see yeah. the stats. Well, yeah. we'll start pulling them up. That'd be uh, sick, yeah. kind of. It's like uh, yeah, like PTI. You ever, yeah, you, ever, you know, sure. like they always have like you know they keep track. We should start yeah. doing okay. that. Let's do all it. All right, so before we get to the picks today. Uh, I had a great idea. I thought we'd have Tommy <laughs> run through the slate and give a weather update because baseball is a weather sport, guys. Yep. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Let's be honest with ourselves. All right. Nobody hits a home run unless the wind's blowing out. Everybody knows that. Tommy said that many times. We all know that. So, Tommy, what's up, man? Let's do it. Uh, Mr. G's weather report here. going to buzz through this mm -hmm. real quick. Wrigley, 2.20 p.m. 
monster game slop, 80 degrees, 13 mile per hour wind blowing out in Wrigley, okay. nine and a half total. Ooh. Pittsburgh's, mm -hmm. if I say neutral, that just means it's like 80 and five mile per hour wind today. So mm -hmm. Pittsburgh's neutral hitting weather. Washington's going to be almost 100 degrees out there in Washington. Ooh, and the wind's hot, blowing hot. out a little bit. Uh, Yankees have good. Yankees have a little bit of rain, 10 mile per hour crosswind, 80 degrees. Red, 78 degrees, neutral. Cleveland, neutral. Marlins, dome. Atlanta's got a big weather concern. I don't know if that game's going to play today. If it does, it's nope. probably not going to start till like 10, 30, 11. Uh, so that's Philly, Atlanta. Rangers going to be playing with the roof up. Coors Field, 83 degrees. Little wind blowing in, but whenever it's hot in Coors, you want that. Twins has neutral weather. Seattle's in a dome. Padres has great weather in San Diego. It's almost 80 degrees and five mile per hour wind blowing out. Oakland, 77 with a six blowing out. And the Dodgers, 84 degrees with a six blowing out. So we don't have any really games to avoid outside of probably Atlanta. A lot of neutrals and a lot of good weather spots with the Cubs being the best. So that means Dan, I like it. Right? I like yeah. it. That's good for us. All right, here we are. We're going to start off the nine-leg parlay that has no chance of losing. Huh. Matt, you're up, man. Stop stalling. All right, we'll get back to our boy Juan Soto because he's been good to us on the show. Mm -hmm. RBI tonight, plus 160. So, Tommy, he's got the Yankees hat on. Don't know what's going on with those Yankees right now, Tommy. They're uh, they're puzzling me a little bit. And I, and I went back to them twice in that series against the Reds. Yesterday, I thought they were going to get back to it. Kind of forgetting how to play baseball. But you know who didn't, guys? Juan Soto. He, he blasted a two-run homer yesterday. He still came through. He's still delivering uh, at a high clip. They're going to break out of it eventually. I mean, when you play – what do they play? 162 games? Yep, you're every year. Yeah, you're you're, you're going to get in some slumps. Yeah, so, look, they're, they're going to bounce back eventually. Um, I think tonight they'll put up runs facing Tanner Hawk, who's – this guy's confusing, guys. His, his record's like seven and six, but his year, he has like the fourth or fifth best ERA in baseball. Uh, but he, he ran into some problems his last time out. I think the Yankees score runs tonight. Soto's going to have a couple RBI opportunities. And, look, he, he's he's an RBI opportunity anytime he goes to the plate, right, because he can just knock one out of the yard. But I do think he'll get some chances with some guys on tonight. At plus 160, kind of a crazy line here. Now we're 1-0, and, and we're, uh, you know, eight legs away now, guys, from, from closing this one out and getting rich. There we go. Sweet, sweet. I like that. What do you think of that, Tommy? I love it. Happens. I love it. I can give you a little. The Yankees, what's going on with them right now, by the way, is the whole team is slumping at the same time. They're, yeah. It's yeah. not that the Yankees are bad. Verdugo's 128 in his last 15. Volpe's 182. Soto's 217. Glaber's 153. Rodon had a 20 runs given up in three starts, and Heal had 14-9. Yeah, what happened to him? Four games yeah, and you have right. fucking Garrett Cole, who just came off. So yeah. they'll be fine when Stanton comes back. It's just that the whole team went cold at the same time. They're yeah, all about to get hot at the same time. I like it. I like yeah. it. Just wait for Stan. Tommy, Tommy, pick yes. two, man. Be somebody. Do I go one or do I go two? Pick number well, two. Guys, you're you're going to pick yeah, number I'm two. You, I mean, I could pick two if you want. I know. Uh, I'm going three if you wanted to. All right. You know I'll I mean? have to do them all in one shot. And I got five that I love. Uh, I'm going right <laughs> to really probably the easiest play on the board today, Christian Walker. Christian Walker's batting 615 over his last five games. He's 13 for 20 with seven runs scored, nine RBIs, and five home runs. Mm -hmm. Over, he's got five home runs in his last three games right now. So Christian Walker, it's just a matter of how I want to play this. Do I want to go ballsy? Do I want to go to the wall, or do I just want to kind of tap it? Matt went a little conservative with Soto there, so I got to get a little bit above him. You so do. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I gotta go, but I can't be a pussy like you. Are. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go. We can go total bases on Christian Walker. It's actually plus a hundred, but we're gonna go a little higher than that. We're gonna go to the two RBIs for Christian Walker plus three ninety. He's okay. got nine, I think, in his last three games. This is a good spot. He's got Vasquez on the mound. Yeah. 1.74 home runs per nine for Vasquez and a 39% fly ball rate. Walker's going yard, but I'm going two RBIs for more value, plus 390. Yeah, I was um, I was looking at Walker this morning. He actually made the Millie parlay because, I mean, yeah. it, for one, I mean, it's obviously skill on his part. But now mm -hmm. this is lucky that he's getting this game in San Diego, this pitcher. Yeah. You're like, yeah. like, how could you get gift wrap another home run game, which is awesome. So congrats to Christian Walker and everybody that tailed Tommy on this one because it obviously <laughs> So I'm going to go. I can go twice because that's how snake drafts work. The first, first bet I'm doing, my guy, Justin Steele, plus or seven plus Ks, plus 158 at FanDuel. Now, I sent out over five and a half. Minus 116 on the Dub Club streets, but that's not going to cut it here in the Thunderdome. Plus, that thing's up to like minus 750 now, so it's not even bettable. What we need is some plus money action in the Dome. 
And if we're being honest, I think I was being a little soft not taking this in the first place, okay? Because Justin Steele, obviously a circle of trust guy. He has been for years. And he's thrown against the exact type of lineup that got him in the circle of trust in the first place. That lineup is the Los Angeles Angels. They fanned 43 times in their last 164 at-bats. If you're familiar with math, Matt, that's not good. No. Okay. But what makes it worse is that a lot of those at-bats came against the Oakland A's pitching staff. Okay. J.P. Sears just got six of these guys yesterday. Okay. That is not that that's that's not great at all, dude. Like he's not a strikeout guy. Plus, as Tommy told you, the wind's blowing out at Wrigley today. All right, at like close to a thousand miles per hour. So you know the Angels are going to be swinging for the fence. That's not good. Steele's going to get six of these guys. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yes, I love the Cubs today too. My my hopes like a 20, 20 to two win for the Cubs. How's that? Me sound? and Matt have a Cubs problem though. Yeah, I mean, do. I don't think I've won a bet on the Cubs all year. And so. I'm addicted to betting on them. Uh, yeah. I do it every well, time. Me and you do it the same days every yeah. time. It, it always really looks like they're due. Like the line yeah. always comes up. In, in your defense, you give me a, a two thirty game on a Friday. If you have to. Okay. I mean, it's like how you not? I mean, like yeah. the day you after Fourth of July, it's like yeah. kind yeah. of a holiday. It's good. It's a holiday weekend, yeah. kind of. A lot of people yeah. are still awake from yeah. yesterday. So, I true. mean, like, there's yeah, something going. Yeah. How many, how many anyway, Cubs bets are we going to put out when we go out to Chicago together, the three of us? Jesus Christ. It's going to be fun. fun. I can't yeah. wait. I'm already looking at the schedule. Just well, I already think I got a spot circled. So, we'll see when we get there. <laughs> My next bet, we're all 3-0 and right now. So, that's huge. Uh, Paul Skeens, 9 plus Ks, plus 136 at FanDuel. I know it's nine at only plus 136, but, I mean, what are you going to do? I don't make the lines. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just have to know a great bet when you see one. Over the last week, no team in Major League Baseball has struck out more than the New York Mets. We're talking 62 times in just 218 at-bats, Tommy. Not great. All right? Not great at all. There's a legit chance that there could be nine guys in this lineup today that all are 25-plus strikeout guys over the last week. That's ridiculously bad. If we're being honest, I kind of wish that I could bet that he's going to strike out each guy one time tonight. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't exist. You can't do that. You should. You can do individual at-bats. If you're watching. Yeah, but like I, I, wanted, I want over the whole time. You need the you know parlay. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that would be fun. Hopefully, FanDuel, if you're watching, maybe throw in that one you know, just for the people. Feels right. That's 2-0, and guys. Tommy, you're up, dude. A lot of pressure. I mean, listen, love these. No pressure here. There's a typo on FanDuel. So I uh, found a misprint on there. You guys know okay. I love hot players. Uh, I yeah, took yeah. the hottest player in Major League Baseball in Christian Walker. Now I'm going to the second hottest player Ooh. in Major League Baseball, which is your dong, Alvarez. And there's a typo, John, on FanDuel. So you guys might want to get that fast. They have Jordan to get an RBI today plus money. Yeah, so we have, that's, that's got to be a mistake, right? Five. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be a mistake. So I thought it was going to be like minus 480, and it's plus 130. So mm -hmm. we're going to take Jordan Alvarez, who's batting 421 with three home runs, eight RBIs. It's also going against Pablo Lopez. Now, when you take Jordan, the big thing you're afraid of with him is that he's going to walk. Like he walked 64 fucking times yeah. last night, and we had his yeah. props. Pablo, Pablo Lopez under 5% walk rate. So we're talking about a guy who doesn't really walk anyone. Oh. Might get an intentional here or there, but we're going to get an RBI out of Jordan. Might hit plus him. Plus yeah. 130. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever they do, they'll hit him with the bases loaded and we'll get an RBI out of it. So that's pretty nice. Nice. There we go. I like that, Tommy. I like that. Matt, that's 5-0. and oh. I feel like I feel like the pressure's starting to build a little bit. You know what I mean? You it don't is. want to be the guy that messes this up. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think you're going to because I think you have two picks right now. I bet they both win. What's up? Yeah, it's, it's always fun going back to back. I'll start with the uh, the Braves, okay? So I'm fading my Phillies, which is going to mean something here tonight. I'm going to go Braves minus one and a half, plus 160. So I was kind of surprised to see where this line was. Tom, you mentioned this is a, a ring game, right? This this mm -hmm. could, we could be in trouble here with the That's weather. That's the only issue, yeah. I, I, yeah. It might play, but yeah. So we're going we're gonna to hope they play. Um, I do think that the, uh, the Braves kind of roll tonight, all right? So – Aaron Nola on the mound. I love my Phillies. We're going to win the World Series. Everything's going to be good. But Actually, not to cut it. you off, it looks like it is going to play. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's even looks, better. We're looks back. fine. Just fine. Right. Yeah. I mean, now, now, now we're, we're good. Back. We're back to nine. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah. sorry to sweet. cut you off. Um, but anyway, yeah. Phillies still going to win the World Series. Everything's good. Not winning tonight, though. Aaron Nola on the mound. Traditionally, he's been a, a, a guy when he's on the road. His splits are much worse. If you look at his numbers against Atlanta, they're okay. 
he's faced them like 300 something times, obviously playing the division. So this Braves lineup has plenty of experience against them. Philly's still without three key guys. Harper's still out of the lineup. Schwarber's still out of the lineup. Bermuda's still out of the lineup. While they have some guys who have stepped in, I, I think Atlanta is in a good spot in the series to, to win two of the three, possibly get a little sweep here. Braves are going to bounce back tonight. I like them at plus 160 to take care of business. And then I'm going to close mine out. Tom, we were talking about this before. We got to get a dinger play in here, right? We hit yep. out last week. I think I think Cody Ballinger, guys, is going to do it again for us in this uh, this Ooh. first at bat. So, Ooh. yeah, I think I think he's going to be the guy to come through. I think it's a uh, it's a Bellinger day. He's going to come through. Plus three fifty, nothing crazy though. You know, I was hoping we got a little little bit better of a line. But you hit on it, Tommy. I mean, the, the wind's blowing out. Mm-hmm. I think the Cubs are going to score 10, 12 runs today. That, that's my prediction. Yeah. I think they're going to have a big day. Bellinger's going to be a part of it. Griffin Canning on the mound. This guy's been like a pitching machine this year. Mm-hmm. He's the only guy also in the Cubs lineup who's ever faced him. He's only one for three. Uh, but from the left side, we know Bellinger does most of his damage against right-handed pitching. He's going to hit a home run tonight or today, plus 350. So now we're we're 7-0, two picks, guys, for the uh, for the sweep. You know what's fun about this, Tommy? What Matt just did was he gave us the old get it done early, get one in early yeah. parlay, and then now you only have eight legs left to win for the night game. Exactly. It's, and, it's well, actually, bad. two of them. I'm sorry. We have two legs in this game. So now two, we only have to win seven more, but you feel like you won the whole thing. Like once Steele goes and strikes out 10 people and Bellager homers, we're going to feel like we already won. And yeah, that, I mean, I'm going to make that even place. easier for you here, Sloppy, because I'm going to make another player from that game. So we only need oh six later. So we were talking good. before to show me and Matt would never coordinate picks, but he did kind of slip and he say did. something. And I counter slipped and we actually were on mm-hmm. opposite guys mm-hmm. in the same exact spot Rip-off. in this game. So I'm going Ian Happ in this one. Two plus RBIs again. I've just found that the two plus RBIs is an easier way to basically get better odds than mm-hmm. the home run prop a lot of time on these guys. So if you're looking at Happ, he's plus 350 to hit a home run, and he is plus 410 for two RBIs. Ooh. If you look at his last three home runs, every one of those home runs in that game, he had two plus RBIs or more. And in five of his last six home runs, he had two plus RBIs when he hit a homer. We're expecting a lot of runs in this game. I think Matt Foy is going to be on base. Bush is going to be on base. A lot of opportunities. We can get this with a double. We don't need it to get over the fence even. So I'm going to go Ian Happ, who is on fire right now. The guy's batting 400 over his last five games, four home runs in his last six, eight RBIs in his last five. Ian Happ's going to get it done for us. And we have a gas can, by the way, Matt. 1.54 home runs per nine with a 40% fly ball rate That's for uh, Mr. Griff Canning on the other side. So, mm-hmm. yeah, let's let's do it. Let's we're get some ahead. runs out of the Cubs, get some strikeouts out of Steel, and we're, we need six more for the night. I love it. That's huge. That's huge. I like guys that bring their friends with them. You know what I mean? None of these solo pimp jobs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Getting all, yeah. all the glory. Right. So I like that. I like that. Ian Happ, good guy. Might be in the circle of trust after tonight. Who knows? Not One bad. guy that is in the circle of trust, though, my guy, Cole Reagans, nine plus Ks, plus 154 at FanDuel. Obviously, this is a circle of trust guy here. All right? He was in the greatest parlay ever made. We all saw it. It's pinned on my Twitter right now. at Slop Rules. Not a lot of analysis here, guys. He's in Colorado. He's facing the Rockies. And that's pretty much all I need. All right? These guys do not hit lefties. They never have, never will. I don't know why, but they just don't. We just saw Garrett Crochet mow down 11 of them last – I think it was last week, all right? And if you're wondering, that guy was also in the greatest parlay of all time, which is pinned on my Twitter, at Slop Rules. Again, it's almost too easy, guys. We just Why don't you it. tell him what that won, Slop? Um, I think it was $10 to win $9,300. <laughs> yep. Pretty good. That pretty was good. a pretty good day. That was Did a really – Did you put 100 on that, John? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, like that would have been – um, a lot more fun. Yeah. I don't even know if they'll let you put 100 on this shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't We're know. so limited um, on these sites. It's ridiculous. I'm going to try to do it another time, though, to be honest with yeah. you. Like, there's going to be one day where we try to do a milli, but it will be with a $100 bill. Hmm. $100 I think we can do it, dude. I think if anyone can do it, it'd be us. I, yeah. How much, I, how much I do we have that. to put on How much do we have to put on this one today to win a milli? Because I feel like this one already won, and it's got to be over 200 grand. Um, I would think boxes, so. Right? I can't really see that. I think, I mean, here, you know what? I don't need to see it. I just do the math in my head. Do it in your head. It do it in your like, head. Looks like $10 on this nine leg parlay would pay us a little over $270,000, which I feel like is pretty good. It's you know not bad. Quite a milli. 
But it's a um listen, quarter million's the number. That's the number. Everyone likes the milli parlays. I like the quarter milli parlays yeah. because it well, feels more good. attainable. Yeah. And it's a lot of fucking money. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. I would take it. Yeah. No, I'd take it. And then we'll be almost yeah. rich, like Slop says, yes. to keep us hungry. Yeah. We'll be getting keep you hungry. Yeah. I like keeps it. Keeps you hungry. Small. You don't want to get too rich. You hit the million, you're gonna fucking just start throwing nonsense out. Right. I know. No, I'll start throwing nonsense at the 10k, dude. Like I don't care. <laughs> I'm nonsense guy. Anyway, speaking of being hungry, though, I'm hungry. It's uh pretty much lunchtime now. Yeah. So real quick before we go, Tommy, you are 2 p.m. on Twitter with the Twitter spaces. Am I correct? Yep. Tommy G wins again. 205. Usually we start 207. It's a fucking circus, guys. It's completely yep. uncensored. Do not listen to it around children. Yep. And uh, <laughs> we'll be on there for an hour on Twitter spaces. It'll be recorded, too. And I think you guys are coming to stop by. Smart, smart. Yeah, I will be there. Uh, Matt, are you in? Uh, yeah, I'll be around. I'll be around. I, I, I think I came in last week for a little bit, Tommy. Or the week yeah, before. you did. You did. I was very proud of you. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've been getting there. I mean, I'm you always doing better. You're, you're on a two-game streak. Yes, I'm two hot right streak. now. Yeah, so okay. I'll probably have to pop in early because I'm getting my weekend started early, heading to the beach. Uh, uh, so, yeah, so I'll probably be one of the first guests today, Tommy. I'll drop, uh, some, love drop some winners for the people. All right, let's nice, go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I will be there, too. I'll also be on the live stream at 4 p.m. on this channel. We're going to run through the positive EV tool at FanDuel. Maybe even hit the fancy optimizer because our guy Alex Monahan just took out better yeah, for like that. sixty grand. So mm -hmm. we, you know, we might want to check out what's hot on the streets. I'm sure they changed everything. That's what these sites do whenever he kills them like that. But we'll use the optimizer and see what we can find. I'll see you then. Thanks for tuning in.